Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to EO4. Uh, we are playing as Tunis, and right now we accepted a call to war by the Auto Bros. And we are fighting on their side, and we are fighting against well, a bunch of people. Let's see. Uh, we're fighting Serbia, we're fighting uh, Venice, Albania. A couple of small boys up here, Genoa over here. So we did pull our navy back, and uh, we'll have to. Be careful what we do, there's some smaller boys over here that uh, the auto bro should take care of. Now, they do have a bigger army than we do. They do have a bigger fleet than we do. Which is a problem. Uh, because we want to keep Ottomans strong. Like, you want to keep them strong because they're my ally. And as expected... So my ports are slowly starting being blockaded. Now we're gonna wait for our ships to repair. We don't have uh, two advisors we are missing right now, but we kind of do need money. Clemson is uh, fabricated on us, huh? That's unfortunate. We do need money currently, uh, or else this would be a uh, a problem because someone might have issues with us. So. Um, Unfortunately, we just spent all of our money basically on accepting the Renaissance. So we are now ahead of most of the countries basically, like Northern Italy and us basically has the Renaissance. Up here there's also Renaissance. These guys usually get it quite fast as well, yeah. But uh, yeah, we are, we are here and we are near. So, uh, as usual, we'll just... Uh, Take care and not actually fight anybody or anyone because this is this is not our war really. And basically, if Auto Bro just defeats and sieges Albania down, there then they won their war. I love the way how Hungary is getting eaten by Poland. That's amazing. Uh, Hungary usually is kind of a block for Ottomans because they're usually allied with Austria. So early on, unless you want, don't want to fight the whole Europe, you don't really go to war with Hungary. But Austria lost their emperor status, so uh, yeah, it's lucky for Autobros. They actually got in quite fast. Now, uh, we do have all of our forts on, which is good. We're just going to wait over here. So you are... In Florence, okay, let's uh, recall you. I wanted to check how are these guys doing on a lot. Oh, we have Regency Council still, of course. I forget that we have the goddamn Regency Council. Now, Morocco would jump in. That's for damn sure if I went to war with these guys. Just because they are, they are my rival. So, I'm hoping that maybe Castile decides to go fight them. They're allied with Portugal. They hate me. It's weird that... These guys decided not to hate Morocco, they hate me. I would expect Portugal to go down and fight there. Because that is their thing. Uh, I see big armies coming down here. So there's Genoese army and... Uh, uh, Verdun also came down here. So, Ottomans, you better stick your armies together and actually win this war. They have 15k siege in there. Uh, this is... what is this? Farmlands? You can probably win this fight because you do have a 5-3 general versus a 1-2. So you should be able to win this. And they do have a river crossing because you have a defense over here. So this is gonna be good for you. Yeah, take the fights where you can and murder them. Because these guys are gonna be going back far, far to the north. Now, while these guys are fighting, we're just gonna chill over here. I mean, I could send some troops there and help, but, I mean, come on. We can get uh, our first idea, though. It's military. We are ahead of time for three years, but right now we are really, really low on intake. But soon, Hunt Osama is gonna come of age, and he's gonna bring six military skill. So, this is gonna be different. So, I think I'm okay with taking this. This one. You really... Tradition. It's not actually amazing, but it's something. Now, Florence, who are you war with? With the Pope. Oh, nice. Florence is winning there as well. That's good to see. I think I'm okay sending my ships over here because I don't think they have a reinforcement anywhere around. We're not going to catch them, though. Yeah, they managed to escape uh, to Ligurian Sea. You know, that's where they're going. Yeah, we're not going to be catching them, but we did manage to scare them off. 
for now, so no blockades. And Ottobro did bring their ships over here as well. Alright, that's fine. Hey, there's uh, Savoy and the Florins are fighting the Pope. That's cool. Looks like even the Franz came in. There you go, Hantasama the first half seat is up and running. So we can get the yearly prestige going, we can get the national unrest down. Oh, isn't that sweet? Alright, we're still making some money. I want to see how good Hantosama is as a leader. Oh, this would be so good. We're not going to assign him right now. But uh, four shock early on would be really, really solid. We have an heir. Oh, he's even better. I love it. He's going to be also Hantosama. As is tradition. Boom. He's righteous. Right, we have more yearly legitimacy going for us. Yeah, that's that's okay. Enjoying right and forbidding wrong. So go for legalism. Yeah, legal leg, legalize it, my friends. Legalize it. How are we doing over here? We did uh, humiliate the rival. Is anything else we can do? It's really going to be tough for us to actually do this. We can embrace the Renaissance. That shouldn't be too bad. But the third one would be hard to accomplish, to be honest. Maybe centers of trade? What do we have over here? Okay, so we gotta get national tax modifier. We move towards legacism, get tolerance of true fate, or towards mysticism. I think we're gonna go national tax modifier, just see if we can make a bit more money because we're not really good. Now let's see how we're doing on centers of trade around here. We have two, you say? I see more than two. I don't exactly know how they're counting. Uh, let's check this again. So, at least one center of trade at level two, at least one center of trade at level three. I see. So, this one I think is level two. Yeah. Entreport. Entreport. Entrepot. Okay. Level two coastal center of trade. You can upgrade or downgrade the center of trade during war. Okay. Now, if you got one more, that would be sweet. Seems like we have two level ones, two level twos. Hmm. We could maybe get this this one over here, as well, and maybe that would work for us. I don't know exactly how that works because, as I said, I've not played through the newest stuff quite yet. Let's see if we can uh, scare off these guys over here. Some Venetian ships. Ooh, they got 95 influence. That's nasty. You can get their loyalty up. Sure. That's okay. We're gonna lose one base tax. There you go. We scared them away. That's fine. Just plant yourself. Okay, plant yourself there, my friend. We're gonna wait for this war. And now you're being a dick over here. Clemson is no longer a valid rival for us. Well, that was to be expected, but at least we got Eclipsed Clemson. So, we gained some extra points over there. Looks like these guys are just gonna be... hopping in and off for now. <laughs> Trying to blockade us on all sides. That's okay. Uh, we got the war skull, or with the war goal. Oldenburg, Naxos, you could piece these guys out. Why is Oldenburg complaining? Because they are sieged by noble rebels. Yeah, you could piece them out with white peace. You could uh, deal with the Naxos people. I mean, you have Albania, so... Uh, if you want, you can piece all of these guys out, but you probably won't be able to take Albania. At least five years have passed. Alodia is fighting someone. As I said, I'm not gonna come and help. Now, let's see how things are looking around here. Morocco would definitely join these wars, while Tlemcen would not, which is a shame. We have good relations? Oh, come on. Why do we have good relations over here? I heard proving relations in Ming. That's interesting. We're up to 100, huh? Don't know why we improved relations there. That's really not needed. And we're definitely not fighting the Mamluks right now. That is not the time. What happened to your army? So we don't really have a goal that we could attack. With Clemson we have a truce for like five more years. 
So unless we attack Morocco directly, we don't really have anything to do. Well, of course we could go for Jared and then Moroccans. And these guys are here again. We can do something like this. Oh, Autobro caught some ships over there. That's great. And we have the leader as well. Good job. They sank seven. Even captured two. That's great. Oh, we actually captured these guys. We're going to have a fight versus them. That's sweet. Let's hope uh, we actually capture a boat from them. Mm, yeah, we got one. Let's go. All right. I like it. I like it. Are we over the limit? Yes, we are. That's not a problem, really. That ain't really a problem. It's gonna. It's not gonna be too much, but big deal. Crimea? Who are you fighting down here? Oh, you are on in on this war. I like it. Ethiopia has peasants' war ending. Good. Now, how does this look in? Oh yeah, we have more troops now. Ooh. Less cavalry, but more troops. More galleys now. Less trade ships. But yeah, on galley fighting, we are both pretty damn strong. Wow, quality wool gained 12 ducats. Amazing. Um, how strong is Moroccan army is something I would like to know. Mm, how about we go check that in the ledger? So, military, armies, Morocco has 18k troops, 26 first limit, damn, 70k manpower. Yeah, they're stronger than we are. So, if we were to fight them, we'd have to be very careful. We can, of course, buff up a bit more, and I think we will, since we are at max manpower. Uh, we can enact a new policy. Uh, merchants stuff expired okay I think we can do some new stuff so we can uh, get some more money like we did last time I think I'm okay I have the alliances now so I think I'm okay we just go in for more money again because right now we're really really crap on money you know but we are gaining 8 mil military power so that's that's strong that is strong and I like it. Oh, pretenders can't even move there. <laughs> <clears throat> even though I would expect them to go through my lands. But I guess not. So yeah, we gotta prepare for an uh, eventual war with Morocco. Now, what would be the best is if Portugal attacked Morocco out here. Now, truth is, these two guys can attack me as well, Castile and Portugal. Uh, and I don't know if Autobro would protect me right now since they're at war. Well, if we were still at war, they would, but after that... Did Theodoro... Really? Hunt Osama? After... He's, he was like 16. I don't even know he, if he was 16 yet. You dicks. You absolute dicks. Why? Why would you kill him? Come on, I mean, sure, he is better, but I need to wait 14 years before I can go to war again? This is really killing me right now. <laughs> wow, that's... That is a problem. That is a huge deal. Uh, just go work on allies or something. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I don't expect anyone to attack me, you know? So, I think we're just gonna drill over here. We're sitting over here in a fort. Hunt Osama has died at the age of 16. At least he has a good heir. Poor guy. I love my Hunt Osama. But he... just doesn't want to go for it. Hungary has peasant war. Hungary has a lot of issues. Other bro is going through Hungary and into Austria. I like it. I think they're gonna win their war easily there. Thank you, Ottomans. I like it. Yeah, now when you're drilling your uh, your morale drops, so usually it's not a smart idea to do some drilling during, uh, during the war over here, so yeah, not a good idea what we're doing. 
Uh, we also have a problem now. Since I did get this going and we won't be able to change for the like, next 14 years. So we will be really hurting the military power now. We're actually losing money. Amazing. Innovativeness is decreasing. Yeah, we are now behind on military. Oh, this, this hurt us really, really bad. Okay, Serbia is out. And they will cede a bunch of stuff to Ottomans. Good job, Autobro. They got Serbia out. Uh, we can get Diplotech and we have some semi separatists going. Sure, let's get the Diplotech. Ugh, this is this is really hurting us right now. Let's get you off of drill. And uh, Tlemcen is gonna rise up in cursed something something. Oh, they have the gems. Good stuff. So they're gonna be over here in the highlands. So we do want to be there. Do we want to make this as a state? Yeah, let's make it a state. Sure. Mm, yeah, make it a core. We can make it a proper core. Let's see if we go over here. Are you full morale? You're full morale. Let's position yourself over here. If they rise up, let them rise up. We can uh, await them. We have 17k. They're not gonna rise up with that much. We're making just a tiny amount of money. Which is just horrible because I can't get another person over here. Unless it was cheap. Let's uh, actually see if we can play with the estates a bit. Hello. Uh, we could call the Ed, but that would get them influence, and I don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, nothing over here. Monopoly charges. I could do that. Get them some influence. Gain some money. Sure, I'll ask for contribution. You guys are fine. I don't even need to get their uh, stuff up. I could get Diplo now. I don't think at 40 I would get more. Uh, I'm not even going to get to 40, so no real deal. I'm not going to do the nation over here. That's okay then. I could demand military support. They have high loyalty. Yeah, that is definitely something we need to do. Good. That 150 military really, really helped us there. Really, really did. Get some corruption. That's not going to hurt. That's one that's going to hurt us monetarily right now because we're going to be getting rid of the corruption. Uh, instead of actually taking this stack, we're going to go boost stability. Because that is also hurting us on the monetary front. The more stable you are, the better things work, you know? Now, my boats over here are just chilling. I think you can safely go back to uh, protecting the trade. And maybe that's going to give us a tiny bit amount of money back. Because these dicks are taking more money away from us. Don't like it. Yeah, more money is staying in here now. So we're making like 10 cents more. Which doesn't do anything really. But, uh, oh well. Let's think if you could just have one more troop, or you know, if you can wait a bit. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, we're gonna quarantine, uh, quarantine the port. There's not much else we can do there. Ugh, great. If we can get this one down just a tiny bit, it would be great. It will go down eventually. Hungary, end of peasant war. That was fast. That was fast indeed. Ottomans, how's the war going? We are contributing a lot, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna... I think I'm gonna just speed up. Okay, uh, we can get a new scholar then. That's not an issue. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Invite the bastard. Invite him. My advisors are idle, or the boys are idle. We can get a new idea. This would be great, but it's not really gonna benefit at that much. So I'm gonna just rather wait for military tag there. Uh, so Barbary Coast area gets talented Kadi. Look her construction cost, unrest, and state maintenance. Or yeah, we're just gonna go for this. I think 
All right, we pieced out Genoa. Zero to Crimea, uh, CO2 Ottomans, and that's about it. All right, so did you benefit from that? No, it's just the coast. Gets the lowered unrest. So you're really, really close to just being reduced to nothing. Tripoli has some issues in Zuare. Why, though? Social protests. Oh, really? Meh, that's fine. Lose admin. Lose prestige. Amazing. Because we had such great prestige. Well, the war has ended. Uh, full annexation dem was demanded. We got six favors because we were really helpful. I did see that down here, I believe, Venice ceded more lands over there. So, these guys, you know, like us because we honor the alliance now. And I like them as well. So, we're not gonna take that idea. I'm okay with that. Um. I think now that we're out of war, maybe the unrest is gonna go down over here. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. So this one is gonna take down. And after that, this one takes down. Oh, great. Prestige back. Love it. Uh, we're gonna do some stuff. How about we mothball you? And we mothball Kef. That's gonna save us some extra money as well. There you go. We're actually in the positives now. Great. So after we get the Tlemceni separatists down as well in a couple of months, uh, we can also mm, you can we can also save money on our boats. Where's our fleet? This is one of the more useless fleets I ever had. Killer broke their stuff. You guys, you guys go protect the trade in Tunis is what you were doing, doing, and you guys can mod ball yourselves. There you go, that's gonna save us some extra money. Tripoli might rebel soon. Jared insulted us, oh no. Ugh, that Regency Council is gonna be killing us. 11 more years. Well, Milan is fighting against Matua. Merton, Cyprus, Oldenburg. So, you are fighting who? Mantua, Verden, Alderberg, Cyprus. You're not calling me against Aragon, are you? No, because Aragon attacked Provence. Which is papal stuff. So, no, you're just calling me... You're ally in that war. You're calling me versus Mantua, Verden, Alderberg, and Cyprus, correct? Correct. And you are winning that war. Don't think I'm gonna actually help you, but sure, I will accept that, Milan. We are back at war. Amazing. I don't think you actually need help with this, my friend. I think, you know, you're just fine. I'm definitely not shipping my troops out there. Like, you do you, buddy. Where are your troops anyway, Milan? How many troops do you have? Oh, there's the major troop. Up there, you know, that's that's where you're supposed to be. Yep. Not that you're fighting these guys over here, but that's what you're supposed to be. Oh, we're fighting these guys again. As we did before. Dude, you really don't need my help. Oh, you wanted my help against Cyprus, probably. Yeah, I'm not sieging that. <laughs> you, can, you can forget that one, buddy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, admin tech, let's take that one. Lose prestige and gain some powers, or the natural scientist dies. I will lose that prestige, gain some extra powers. I'm okay with that. I am actually okay with that. It's hurting us so much right now, man. That we uh, lost those troops. Uh, you know what? Playing the courts. Move towards Legacism. Local goods produced, monthly autonomy changed. And the lemma gets loyalty. Hmm. Or mysticism. They lose loyalty. Get local unrest. Yeah, that auto autonomy change is annoying. Uh, but, oh well. We're gonna mothball this one. I'm gonna keep this one up and running. Because Cyprus might decide to land some ships over here. And take it. 
So that's why I'm gonna just mod ball calf. You're not gonna go there before I can unmod ball it if if needed. So we're okay. Yeah, because really don't wanna be losing money to the stupidities now. Now you guys let's get you over here. Immoral prices. Dude, can you give me like some good events please? <laughs> Merchant loses loyalty. A uh, bunch of revolts or lose a bunch of ducats and these guys get loyalty influence. I would rather lose some of these ducats. That's completely fine. Sunni zealots. Hey, you guys do you. In fact, my truce with Lemson has... An oh, you guys allied Morocco. What a bunch of dicks. My truce with Lemson ended and I still have to wait for years, for 10 years before I can go to war. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, well, for now, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should I subscribe and see more Do Magic? And I'll see you next time. Check her out.